Okay, so this is audio message number two, or audio podcast number two. This one, this one is just about beingness, and it's just about presence and silence. I just finished reading a excerpt of The Untethered Soul by Michael A. Singer, and wow every time i read this book i am transported into a realm beyond verbal articulation like even me speaking these words right now i know it's not even gonna do it to its full justice but it's gonna do something it's gonna inspire someone it's going to take someone deeper into the realms of their own beingness So that, you know, maybe they may have an experience like I just did. And let me tell you what just happened. I asked myself, because this book is all about going beyond the psyche. Going beyond identification with the mind. And just remembering who you really are, which is just beingness. Which is just that formless, formless essence that goes beyond sound that is just isness that is just isness and i know sound in the beginning there was sound and when that sound was formed it was the beginning of matter and physicality and creation and form i think i said form already but fuck it form but behind even even before that all there was was just silence isness and i asked myself i closed my eyes and i asked myself i said who is thinking the thoughts i asked myself who am i who is the one that is thinking the thoughts and i found that pocket of silence that eckhart Tolle, Tolle, however you say his name he talks about in the power of now and i just remembered oh my god i am just that that is what i am i am just pure and so i sat in the and i realized there's this quote that i got from eckhart toyley in the power of now listen to the silence silence is presence presence is consciousness just as the sun is infinitely brighter than a candle flame. There is infinitely more intelligence in being than in your mind. And boy, did that shit come alive. I just sat in the... in the isness, in the silence, in let the walls of the psyche come down. Michael Singer, he gave a great analogy in this book about how we are we we put ourselves we build this house the house that is in the psyche and we put ourselves in the house and we sit in this artificial light and eventually the artificial light is not enough and eventually there's darkness and eventually we have a yearning to experience the the all of everything that is the eternal light that is shining no matter what and then we we kick down the walls of the psyche the house that we have built that we have made a fortress and we let that light shine in and we realize oh my fucking god this is presence this is who i really am this is my being this is beingness and so i sat in that silence i i stepped back i stepped back and I just allowed myself to sit in the isness, in the stillness, in the presence, in the silence. And oh my fucking God, I did not want to leave. I was like, this is my true nature. This is what I have been looking for in all these external fucking things. Even in books, man. And in practices. And these exercises everything that i was looking for in those things 
was simply in the the isness, the silence, the stillness, the consciousness that I truly am. And now I'm not knocking these practices because it's these practices that even got me to the place to even remember, oh shit, I am just Period. There's not even a name for it. Every time I take a pause, that's what I'm talking about. It's the. It's these practices that even helped me to take down the walls enough so that all I needed to do was meditate for five minutes. Release my identification with the mind, shift back into the consciousness of pure being of the soul. And just wow, exhale. Surrender into that. That wouldn't have been as easy without all the external practices that I have done. But now I realize it wasn't the practices. Let me tell you, yesterday, or maybe not yesterday, a few days ago, I had found this book about Tantra. And it was talking about union. It was talking about ecstasy. It was talking about God. And I was like, this is it. This is it. Like, this is this is what I have been looking for. Like, da-da-da-da-da. Unity with God. Like, this is the practice. Like, da-da-da-da-da. And I was on that high for about three days. And then it got to the point where I realized this is not as exciting as I thought it was anymore. And I looked at all the practices that I had been engaging in and I'm like, these are not giving what I was looking for, what they were meant to give, what what I assigned them to give, what I perceived them to give, right? Because we are the creators, we are the gods of our reality. Everything, the fear, the love, the guilt, the shame, the excitement, we're all creating that. And so because we're all creating that at any moment, we can decide to uncreate it. I don't give a fuck about what anybody has told you. At any moment, you can decide to uncreate all the unfavorable circumstances that you have created out of the over-identification with your mind. And at the same time, if you have done this, I need you to give yourself grace. Because all of this is just unconscious conditioning from childhood, from before you even could even think for yourself however i will give you not even i will give you i invite you to relinquish the belief in fear and victimization and accept and take on the belief in love and in self-empowerment and in the realization that you are the creator No one is creating anything outside of you. All the unfavorable circumstances that you are experiencing have just come from a product of non-serving thoughts. Of negative habitual thinking. And that negative habitual thinking is the same thing that Michael Singer was talking about in The Untethered Soul. It is the walls of the psyche that you have built around truth. And when we relinquish that over-identification, when we let go of that victim mentality, that things outside of us are controlling us and that there's no possible way that we could ever leave our circumstances because there are these things outside of us that are controlling us, that shit is not all that is possible it is not all that is truth there is other truth there is more truth and that more truth is that anything that you do not want to experience change your fucking thoughts and you don't have to experience it anymore because you are the creator but it's only when we over identify with ourselves as the psyche as the physical reality that we think there's no way we can possibly change this because we think that we didn't create it We think that something outside of ourselves created it. And so that also is an act of radical responsibility and accountability that we have to take for our lives. I started learning that when I started listening to, I think his name is Dr. Hugh Lin. He is the creator or he was a teacher of the creator of the original Ho'oponopono, not like the new age gentrified version of it. And the basis of that practice is in 
radical accountability, saying, I'm sorry, I love you, please forgive me, to your inner child, to that beingness within you for creating a circumstance that is unfavorable to the truth of who you are. Not asking anyone outside of yourself for forgiveness, asking forgiveness to your consciousness, asking forgiveness to your beingness, wiping that memory clean so that you can then start to create what you wish to desire, what is in alignment, what is good for you, what is meaningful to you, what is beneficial to you, what is true, what is in alignment with the truth of who you truly are, which is that consciousness. So, I went on kind of a rampage. I don't know where I left off (laughs) with the Michael Singer thing. Oh, the experience. Yeah, I was realizing that the external things like they weren't they weren't giving me what I needed to give. I mean, what they needed, what I wanted them to give and what I was looking for in those things I found in those five minutes of just surrendering to presence and oh my god the walls came down the emotional well just started flowing again i let out all of that fucking pain that i was carrying that my soul was feeling because it was just like ebony we want to expand i want to go beyond we need you to wake up we need you to shift back into remembering who you really are we need you to shift back into presence. We need you to surrender deeper into presence, deeper into wholeness, deeper into isness, deeper into the silence, deeper into God, deeper into. And I cried for like fucking a half an hour. And I was like, oh my God, my over identification with the psyche built walls around the truth of who I really am. And so I didn't even feel any of this yearning, this longing for presence, this longing to be in unity with the truth of everything that is a reflection of the God consciousness that is me, that is truly me, that is truly us, that is truly we. And so I just wanted to share that experience. And, you know, I hope I not even I hope, I set the intention that whoever is listening to this, this sparks just a speck of remembrance in you, just enough that it leads you into the path of your own remembrance, to coming back into surrender with the divine, to coming back into presence with the truth of all that you are, with coming back into harmony with the all that always has been and all all that always will be come into oneness with the isness of your beingness thank you for listening guys may peace be upon you all